Hi guys, I'm just gonna get right to it. Um, we've been, I've been having a really hard time trying to get this reading out. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, we have a high level soulmate surrounding a divine feminine that is being attacked by his wife, thinking that he is cheating with divine feminine. All the while divine masculine is literally stalking everything about his divine feminine, trying to catch her, trying to catch her. No, just trying to spy on her and see what she's up to because he's he's been blocked. So we got a whole lot of crazy going on on tonight's novella. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Like the video to show support. I'm just going to jump in. Holy Spirit, please continue to protect and guide me as I channel this energy. Archangel Gabriel, please allow me to continue to channel clear, honest, and precise messages for the collective through you. Archangel Michael, please continue to protect us all as I channel this energy. Only allow heaven's white light to surround this reading and cast any darkness back to hell where it belongs, please, and thank you. Let's just get it in. Guys, all the things are in the description box. I'm just going to jump in while I still, while I can before something else happens. So let's just get it. You guys know the disclaimers. Please don't force anything. It's a collective reading. Gigi's not a therapist. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. All right, Spirit, what is the Zodiac Oracles? Today's timeline update, by the way, it's January 4th, 2022. It is 9.51 p.m. here on the East Coast, here in Sussex County, New Jersey. Holy Spirit, what is the Zodiac? Thank you. We have Cancer. What else, Spirit? We have Mars, Fire, Aries for Mars, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for uh, Fire on the bottom of the deck. We have Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Please check all the placements, all the things, okay? Let's see what the uh, describing cards. By the way, we have sacred, excuse me, we have divine circus, sacred creator, uh, angels and ancestors, and big birth out tonight, okay, guys? All right, let's see what else. Yeah, this, this karmic drama queen is literally just harping and... We have a childish person, a karmic masculine, and something this sp in the springtime. What happened in the spring? Another soulmate did what? Broke divine feminine's heart. Yep. What does he have to do with this? A whole lot. Created a whole lot of things, this, this masculine. Whose spouse? High level soulmate. What about? Okay, let's just keep going. That's who that spouse is. Here's Divine Feminine. We have a gamer. Ooh, Lord. All of them? Nope. Take that one. Okay, what about the summer? High level soulmate and Divine Feminine reunited. Kind of late summer. Late summer. Okay. We have an adventurist. Who's an adventurist? Divine feminine, divine masculine, high level soulmate. We have a weave. Yes. Leave any anime down below, please. We have Earth. We have Earth here twice. We have a big spender, military person, possibly veteran. How many? A lot of them. Okay, well, thank you so much for your service. We have a big spender. Who's a big spender? A lot of them, all of them? Mm hmm. We have a police officer. Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We have all the elements out here, guys. We have a cheater. We have a succubus incubus. Who is that? Is it the high-level soulmate? Yes. Karmic soulmate? Yes. Divine masculine skating the line. Divine feminine? No, earth angel. Starseed, High Priestess, 
obedient to spirit, very spiritual being. She's trying to help people. Am I keeping the title spirit? Yes, okay. We have a rocker, sex worker, musician. What a smorgasbord, man. Holy crap, a city girl or guy. We have an artist. She, should I keep going? Yes. How many more shuffles? Three. Okay. One. Very unique person. So we have a, a very unique person. Also a binge drinker. So this is two. Also somebody that's using heavy drugs and is also being a very toxic person. Is that divine? Who is that? Divine masculine? Oh yeah, big fucking time. Anybody else? No, nothing heavier. Out of all of the other energies, nobody else is touching anything stronger than the 420, but Divine Masculine's doing all the things. Yep, towing that line. Really towing his line. This is the third and final shuffle. Okay, thank you. And we have the East Coast. On the bottom of the deck, we have a fitness lover. We're going to take that and move on. Okay, we're starting here. We're starting with our sacred circus. Let's tap in any further. What else do we have to say about this? I mean, I'm seeing divine feminine glowing. We have divine masculine stalking. We have a karmic masculine soulmate. What are you doing? Deep depression. What are you dealing with? Thinking about who? Divine feminine. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. What about you, karmic drama queen? Looking for signs and synchronicities about cheating. With who? You think this, this high-level soulmate is going after divine feminine? Is she going after him? You think she's going after him too? Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, so we got somebody thinking that her husband's cheating on her with Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is not a cheater. She would not do that. What is she doing? Pumping the brakes and keeping distance and space because choices need to be made. Okay. So we're going to keep it there. Is there anything else right now? No. Okay. Shuffle. We'll shuffle a couple more times. steampunk princess yes soleil i love that hair it reminds me totally of queen the queen of hearts in the alice the 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 live action alice in wonderland yeah the tiger angel i love that let's see still a new deck guys so please bear with me i'm still learning the cards the steampunk princess one two three trust what you see Four, five, six, the truth behind the trick. Seven, eight, nine, clarity divine. You shall see what you need to see at the perfect moment it shall be. Okay, who is that to? Is that to the karmic uh, drama queen? Yes. To divine feminine? Yes. To divine masculine? Yes. To these soulmates? Yes. Everything's going to happen in divine timing. Trust what you see. What? In real life? Yes. Trust what you see on social? No, not at all. Because those the things that you're seeing on social media are tricks. A lot of it, yes. All of it, no. A lot of it, yes. Where? Okay. Is somebody looking into tarot reading? Yes. Listen, if you've never watched a tarot reading, and this is your first one, understand that when we do this, there is a, I mean, I have over 700 people in my collective. It's not as large as some, but that's a lot of people, okay, that I'm channeling energy for. That's why I say take it how it resonates. Place yourself where you belong. Don't force things because you can get yourself trapped thinking all the things about all the people and not really think. Take what you know for sure is truth. Leave the rest because you truly don't know what's going on on the other side, okay? Clarity divine. Speak to spirit. Pray and meditate on the situation if you're contemplating. Are you a spiritual being? 
Are you religious? Yes. Are you spiritual? Yes. Kind of enough. You have a relationship with God. Well, find clarity in the divine and at the perfect, and you shall see, and then you shall see what you need to see at the perfect moment. It shall be that's divine timing. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh, excuse me. Okay. What is this? Number four, tiger angel. The universe needs you. It needs your strength, your guiding hand, your devotion, your goodness, and your protection. There are people, project ideas, and hopes that need your encouragement, your optimism, your nurturing. Have you, you have helpful healing power in you. Be confident enough to be gentle, and your inner power shall uplift and protect many in this world, keeping them safe and inspired, inspiring them to trust, the trust in love. Who is this? Divine feminine to who? This high-level soulmate. What about this is, what is this? She's guiding you to something big. To catch somebody in a deceptive lie that could have landed you into a situation for another, well, what, 12 years? Yeah, big time. Is she opening your eyes to something you never thought was possible? Yeah, big time. Well, she was placed in your night life at divine timing for a reason. It was divine timing that she showed up in your life. How many times, how long have you known her? A long time? Yeah, long, longer than you've known your wife? Yeah, a long time. Okay. Now, she was placed in your life for a reason to meet who? Your father and your mother, mostly your father. It was a very brief encounter, but she met him for a reason. Has he, why? Did he pass on? Yes. Okay. What about this? Is she, okay. She was brought back into your life how many other times? Two other times. Possibly three. There was a very long distance of time between the last time and the most current time. She came back into your life. Why? You went to her? Yeah. Why? You missed her? Yeah. Big time. Okay. Well, it was divine timing for a reason. You went to her for a reason. There's somebody pushing it, you to it and it's who your dad, your dad brought you to her for a reason. I guess she has communication with the 5d. Yeah. Big time. Bringing you messages, trying to get you to open up your eyes. Huh? Are you being a bit stubborn? Yeah. Big fucking stubborn. Well, it's all this is happening for a reason. All this is happening for a reason. Trying to help you get out of a deceptive lie that is your life. Staying in a loveless relationship for what? Money? Kids? What else? Stay face within a community. No matter how much you want to lie about it. She see right through you? Yep. She know more than you thought you she did? Yeah, big fucking time. I'm being shown how many masculine energies are surrounding this female, both in the 3D and 5D upwards of, I'm seeing the number seven and the number 11. Possibly seven here. No, in the spirit realm. And then three more, or no, four more. Four to five more here in the 3D. So there's 11 to 12 people, energies, both here in the 3D and also in the 5D that are surrounding this female in this current moment. Why? To place people on the paths that they need to be on, spiritual paths that they need to be on to complete a journey that revolve around her. Yes and no. Yes and no. It's basically to help save people's lives because of what? Bad choices, bad eating habits, drinking, belligerency, poor choices. She's been tested. She's being tested. She will continue to be tested. The Red Countess.
Deep within you, you know what is true and what to do or not to do. Yet there is so much noise and distraction in the world and even at times in your own mind that listening to for our inner wisdom can seem like trying to hear gentle song, bird songs in the midst of a rock concert. Even so, you are hearing an inner truth and deep down you know it. Can you trust that it is safe to not only hear your inner voice but to act on it too? Now... I'm going to ask this as a general question. I see a very, a lot of energy right now, guys. Okay. So I'm, I'm just looking at this. Y'all know, has she been telling y'all stuff? Yes. Everybody's like clapping and yes, 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 she has. Okay. For those of you that still reside in the 3D, has your intuition been telling you she's right? Every single one of them is telling me Yes. Pay attention. If somebody's giving you clarification on everything you already feel and like, why you not believe in them? That's not smart. I mean, that's not smart at all. But that's just my humble opinion. It's because they don't want to admit that they don't want to admit it. They want to believe that, you know, is this specifically to this? high level soulmate and his drama queen yeah she's too much of a sweetheart what she shows people she it, good little christian girl yeah but is she nope very two-faced very very two-faced not two-faced no she's poison she's got poisonous venom and she holds a lot of grudges yeah big fucking time no fucking sweetheart there. Let's see what the sweetheart card has to say. You've known violence in your life, maybe on the outside, maybe on the inside, with a mind that has tortured you with fear, shame, darkness, and doubt. Enough of that now. It's time for a gentler way. Less pain, more gain, more torture. No more torture. It's time for sweets and treats. Now, karmic drama queen. What you doing with the deception and all of this vengeance and all of this spitefulness and all of this grudge that you're holding, you're definitely the one that's pushing this person away from you. Yeah, big fucking time. Okay. Maybe if you actually are, if you actually act like the real sweetheart you portray to everybody else instead of just using that as a cover up. Because if you look here, you can see that she's got like scars all over her face. Kind of, it reminds me of the Joker a little bit almost like underneath all of that sweetness that you show to everybody there's really a dark evil monster inside of you i see scorpio i see a scorpion just fucking coming up to somebody and just stabbing them to death like growing to be the size of a freaking house and just stabbing people with that freaking tail Right in the head, like, fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you too, I can't stand you. Like, somebody legit losing their mind, and every freaking ounce of self-doubt that they have is just being taken out on everybody. Excuse me for just a second. both of them nebula warrior and date with destiny 17 there are advocates for love on this earth those that are passionate defenders of the freedom for all beings to grow and fulfill their divine destiny these warriors for the soul know they can either use darkness to serve the growth of the light or allow it to consume their sense of hope Trust and faith in the right outworkings of the destiny of all living things. You're being initiated in the ways of working with darkness constructively to become a soul warrior for all living beings. See, I resonate with this card. See, I swear, I, I mean, I, I can get down. And I will do anything I can in my power. I will even cross into the darkness to defend the light. I'll never step out of my divinity completely, especially reacting to other energies. But if I have to do or say certain things to get a point across, I will. So people like me are, are warriors to help save what pe people, 
in the that bring them back to the light even if we have to go down into the pits of the of hell and slay succubus drama queens to help bring people to their date with their destiny to get them out of the darkness they will get them away from these false ass people that are acting like sweethearts but in reality they're like evil bastards yeah yep yep what is date with destiny let's just get the reality of it see Out of the ethers and into your life, she arrives now because you have a date with destiny. She is a mysterious creature. Her ways are wild and her guidance is true. She may create chaos from which a new order can emerge, but there is no need to fear. She has come to inspire, uplift, and direct you. Yeah. she's. It's basically like she's she's going into hell to collect you, to help bring you back to that journey, that put you on that journey to that spiritual freaking pathway that you need to be on and doing whatever she has to do. Even if it's to risk a friendship or a relationship with you. To help get you to understand what you, that you've got something greater to be doing than what you're doing dealing with a fucking karmic drama queen. You're destined for something great. Does it involve her? Yes. Ah, the guest of honor. Who is the guest of honor? Divine Feminine. Okay. Perfect. Right on it. Have you ever felt like you were the outsider looking in? Maybe like everyone else has found their place, really belonging to someone or something, having set themselves up for life with you still working out how to get past the security guards at the front gate. It's time for your outsider status to change. You're invited to the into the inner circle. What is that? Is she trying to do something to help bring y'all closer? Yes. What is that? Trying to ease the tension between you and your wife. Yes. Is it working? Mm, do you think it will? Yes. Is it going to cause any issues? Yes. Why? Because you're going to see the reality of the situation firsthand. Because of jealousy and envy. What's jealousy and envy? Because of the way Divine Feminine looks? Yes. Her status? Yes. Her job? Yes. Everything. Oh, sorry, my neck's been bothering me, guys. But she wants to be a she wants to be a friend to all, and that includes even the drama queens. Anything else from here, Spirit? Karmic soulmate or karmic drama queen? What about what's going on? Sorry, I'm not looking. I'm looking up, guys. I'm not even looking at the cards. I'm just shuffling. When one flips out, it, I'll grab it. Are you skeptical? Why? Do you know what her job is? Not yet. She's going to make it known to you? Yes. Are you going to freak out? A little bit. Are you going to be open-minded? A little bit. Okay. Here's the thing. Does she want to help you? Yes. She's praying for you, your family, the whole thing. She prays for everybody. She wants to love everybody. She just wants to be friends. Are you afraid that she's... Soulmate, are you afraid of something? Yes. What? Energy work? Why? You're afraid of her finding out something that you don't want to know about? Yeah, big fucking time. Does she already know things? Yeah, are you starting to be skeptical about certain things? No, but something's lingering in your mind that's making you kind of second guess some things? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Pixie Pirate. Pirate? Pirat? I don't know. There she is. There is an original you. The you that has always been and always will be you. No matter how much the outer forms of your body, your work, your lifestyle, your world seem to change, the original essential you is always there within unique with there within unique precious and just as you were created to be are you repressing yourself yeah big time why because of external validation old outdated ways of thinking ego all kinds of things now here's a question soulmate high level soulmate you yes are you afraid of this person if you're divine feminine 
here comes into your life that she's going to bring it all out of you and you're going to just not want to be around your, your wife. Yeah, big time. You can't separate, can you? She's too much of a temptation for you, isn't she? Why? Because she gets you out of your shell. Yeah, big time. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, the cherry on top. She is the cherry on top of that Sunday that is that temptation, isn't she? Yeah, big time. She's like a brownie Sunday with all the fixins. And that cherry on top is what? That body. Okay. So there's a lot more to it than just her body. Yeah, does she like a, like like a lot of the same things? Yeah, big time. You're good together in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's good chemistry. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Allergies. You are so close to success, to the final attainment, to all your effort, to all your efforts coming together perfectly. All that remains for you to do now is one final step, one last choice, commitment, attitude, or action, and your success will be complete and, and sweet, sweeter than ice cream, an ice cream sundae with a cherry on top. What does this mean? Divine Feminine has more work to do. Choices need to be made for who I'm being shown a soulmate. This high level soulmate needs to make a choice. His choice will determine where he goes with this Divine Feminine, right? Okay. What about this other Karmic Masculine? Same thing? Yes. A choice to what? Have a proposal, reach out, grow up, quit being childish, Get out of his head, get out of the depression, do all the things. There's changes that need to be made there, right? So you can have the engagement that you so long for and the cuddles that you so desire. Okay. What about divine masculine? What changes need to be made? And somebody needs to get sober, get off the heavy drugs, quit being a toxic person, figure out a way to get out of the spam and spam and blocked situation with divine feminine and quit fucking stalking. There needs to be change. Worry about your damn self. Don't worry about what Divine Feminine's doing right now. Worry about what you're doing. Worry about what you're doing. Because right now you cuckoo crazy with the stocking. Cuckoo crazy. Who is this? Ra, ra, ra. Ra, 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 ra. Channel and Gaga. La, 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 la. Ra, ra. Watch out for romance. Yeah. I want your love and I can't remember the words. It's been so long. I want your love. Love, love, love. I want your love. How many freaking people want this woman's love? Too many to count, man. There's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going, man. Like everybody that comes in counter with this freaking divine feminine is like wanting to just tear her apart. Like a song by what is it? Cuddy Banks, I think it is. I don't even know where I was going with that. It's a reggae song. I just lost train of what I was thinking. Anyway. Anyway. I'm so tired. I really have been feeling like caca. Anyway, we're going to Sacred Creators now. Look. Who is this? Let's just see where the energy goes. I'm just, I, I see this karmic feminine just sitting there like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I want to catch him cheating. I want, I want to have a reason to leave. Is that what you're looking for? Why then, why don't you just leave him? Money and kids. Oh, God. Seriously? Y'all killing me right now. What, is that your raw intention? Is that your intention is to be like that with him? Just use him for his money? No. It's just convenience at this point. Is the snoo snoo good? For you, yes. For you, sir. Eh, it's tolerable. I guess you catch a nut and you're feeling pretty good, I guess. It's enough? It's enough, I guess. No, because you're craving something else. Something a little bit hard, rougher, huh? You want to be raw with somebody in a way that she can't handle? Yeah, big fucking time. You try? Yep, she's more of a vanilla kind of girl and you're not. Okay, what does the sacred creator have to say, spirit? Wee! Befriend the word polarized. Be your true authentic self. If you ain't into vanilla all the nonsense, then go don't be in the vanilla all the nonsense. Be who you are. 
be your true authentic self befriend the word polarized that is who you, that that is that meaning be your true authentic self do not dilute yourself for whatever reason it is you're diluting yourself it's not worth it Please. there's the divine masculine who is divine masculine oh the stalker what about him you need to uh, be your true authentic self too I'm being told get out of this businessman mindset and go be the fucking cowboy you want to be straight up right there where is it i thought i is it an even here nope the cowboy is not here but that i'm being oh sheriff oh the sheriff oh the sheriff now because look sheriff i'm being sh you sh came to me yesterday telling me he was a false twin uh what what's going on here it's between this mass the karmic mass oh god this is so freaking confusing sheriff anyway are you the sh you're not the same sheriff i'm thinking about are you yes you are okay well what's the deal is he a false twin no, he comes across as a false twin because of his actions. Is he using black magic spirit? Yes, big time. He's doing pendulum work. What else is he doing? Moon magic? He's trying to connect with somebody who, the soulmates, to try and throw him off. He's using black magic against the soulmates. The thing is, is this protection from this divine feminine isn't letting it happen. Nope, not a little bit. Yeah, just so people can understand the situation. One of them's getting it really heavy, isn't he? Why? To kind of push him to where he needs to be? I don't know, man. Where is Divine Feminine? Is she out here? There she is. Is that Divine Masculine? I'm going to keep you guys together. This is kind of crazy. This is a very confusing situation. Because he's come across as a false twin a couple of times, this masculine. Wee! Wee! Oh my god. Right, there's that raw intention again. I see that sad external validation that I was talking about. You need to cut the cords of this situation because it's putting doubt in your mind. The whole situation is putting doubt in your mind. With who? Divine Feminine? Why? Is she making you think about things? Does she know a lot? Yep. Telling to, knows too much. Putting doubt in somebody's mind because are you his attend people's intentions already know what she's saying is true, but they and they need to cut the cord to doubt because of external validation because we already saw that this freaking karmic drama queen, her intentions are just for the convenience and the money and the situation and the external validation and if people start believing in magic, shit's gonna happen when they most expect it. Believe in the magic. And don't be using black magic, dark magic. It's because you're pissed off that you've been reported as spam and block, huh? You're holding a grudge. Don't do that. Find your sacred flow. And that includes meditation and prayer. Your sacred flow needs to incorporate spirit. And so that way you can tr find success in the transformation. We've seen that. We saw that with the butterfly bandini, I think it was. And so, so that way you can celebrate your wins. And it comes down to it. Y'all are literally being guided to the path that you need to be on to be successful. Because somebody believes in magic and that's why shit's happening. Is it taking a long time? In the, in the 3D, it feels like a long time, but in reality, it's divine timing and things have to happen in a certain specific way for everybody to get the best of the best. This is a very big situation that includes a lot of people. People's lives are about to change this year. Your past supports your future because it brings testimony and wisdom to the situation. Helps guides people. What is this? 
the distraction of shiny things. Yeah, it's materialistic things that are distracting people because they don't want, it comes down to that external validation. Well, you guys have been together this long and you have this and you have that. And, you know, do you guys look together? Good, good. Do you guys look good together? Yeah. Pretty picture perfect family. Yep. Are you miserable and unsatisfied? Yeah, big time. Well, if you want to be distracted by the shiny things, that is the external validation and all of the nonsense that really doesn't mean anything. I mean, go ahead. It's your life. But if you find, if you transform, you're going to find success and you're going to be able to, you need to unstick the stuck so you can transform. So that way you can get the big wins you're destined for, man. And it comes down to all of you. I'm being shown one, I see divine masculine. I see a soulmate. We call him Pop Bear. Who else? I see another lingering uh, pure soul. He's not really shining anything but the white light. I see him. He's a, I'm being shown a bull. Probably as stubborn as a bull. He's being saved through this, because of this journey. I'm being shown other soulmates are being, are being brought into it for what healing and release to have closure. Um, People are being real, realizing that bliss with this particular divine feminine is, is is basically like their muse. It helps them create things, and they find that being with her is worth being there because they feel like themselves. They their creative juices come out. Divine masculine, what's wrong? Your muse is gone. You're completely falling apart. So you're using black magic to completely manipulate the situation and screw things up. Try to bring her back to you. Try to get her to call you. Trying to do all the things to try to make her come back to you for what? Money. Why do you want her to come back to you for money? Oh, where is it? She was a sugar baby. And now she's cozying up with risk. Risks for what? Being her true authentic self is a risk. Why? Because of who she is. She's a very spiritual being and probably does something similar to this something and she's risking it all why because of external judgment external validation people are turning away from her she's turning away from people separating herself she's taking a risk in herself she's cozying up with herself and her beliefs and what she wants to do and is she being is she successful at it yeah big time things are going well for her People are starting to see it. She probably went from a, se a, a sex worker to something pretty special, huh? Well, maybe y'all should cozy up with the same risk and maybe follow suit. Make a mission state. Look, high-level soulmate, yeah, you with the crazy wife, yeah, you. Make a mission statement for your soul. What is your soul telling you to do? Because if it's staying there and living in a loveless relationship, well, then go ahead. But the thing is, is that you're living poetry to somebody, divine feminine. What about her? Is she att attracted to you? Yeah, big time. Lots of chemistry, lots of chemistry. Do you inspire her? No, not, no, not in the way you want to be inspired. But motivating nonetheless, yes. In a way which would be cha life-changing anyway, yes. But it's not the way that she wants to go, is it? No, there's something more. And the only way it's going to happen is with who? Divine Masculine. Any last messages from the Sacred Creator? You are light, Divine Feminine. Ah, nourish the sacred feminine. There she is. Again, y'all need to nourish this person because she is, you are magic divine feminine. And your people, are they nourishing you? Uh, not really. She's nourishing herself because she knows she's the light. And that's why she's able to help the people she's helping. That's why God is putting her through her tests, specifically surrounding patients because of what her task is. Anything else in here, Spirit? She is being tested regularly. The spark of hustle. Spirit wants to know if the, her hustle with him is true. Are you putting her through her paces? Yes. Is she passing? Yes. Can she do better? Yeah, everybody can, but she's doing pretty well. Is she passing her tests? Yes. 
Is it taking a little bit longer than she'd like? Yeah, is her patience growing thin? No, because she believes in spirit. She believes in divine timing. She believes in the magic that is the twin flame journey. So is she going to be abundantly rewarded? Yes. The black sheep of the family is going to have a big win. Because of her follow through with spirit. She follows through with everything she says she's going to do. And, she pop because, and, and it comes down to getting back with the elementals, isn't it? Yep, she's spending more time in nature. She's using nature to help her ground herself. Helping her clear her mind. Get the stress out. And not confining herself to the same four walls that make her feel entrapped in life. She's getting outside more. She's doing things that make her feel grounded. Oh, I don't feel good. Whew. Yeah, I'm going to finish up here. And we still got two more rounds to go here. So let's get to it. Should I save this one? No, get through it. Okay. And then we'll pull some messages because this is all over the freaking place. I don't know. But that karmic drama queen, she tripping me out a little bit. Don't stress. There is anybody cheating who she is still does anybody know about it just you and the person you're doing with does your husband know about this person are you shaking your head yes or no Archangel Gabriel is this karmic drama queen cheating on her husband with somebody he knows yes yep out of vengeance and spitefulness Oy vey, oy vey. Man, I feel good. Whew. All right. All right. What does the angels and ancestors have to say, spirit? Whee. Oracle, wait for important information. Are people getting important information? Yes and no. Is there more important information to come out? Yeah, big time. Big time. Divine Feminine is going to receive it? Yeah, big time. About who? Karmic Drama Queen? And Soulmate? Yep. And Divine Masculine? And the other Soulmate? Everybody. She's going about to get some serious downloads. Yeah, possibly around this new full moon. Yeah. What else, Spirit? Is she like an oracle? Yes, she's a seer, like me. High Priestess. The high, we got Divine Feminine out here three times. Broken air. She, she's harnessing her mystic powers and tapped all the way the fuck in. Okay. And she's trying to embrace the energy of peace by becoming civilized with people and trying to help guide them on their spiritual path. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. Spirit's telling me to take it. She is. The rest of you do the same because if she's clarifying and giving you confirmation, you need to you should start trusting in the unknown and listening to her. She's a high priestess, very powerful being. Very very powerful being. Let go of the need to be right. Specifically in this moment, spirit is talking about this high level soulmate with the karmic drama queen. Let go of the need to be right. You think you know everything about this situation? Yeah, you don't. You sure don't. This woman is trying to help you keep the peace in your life by giving you a heads up, giving you that important information you need to do get. Honor what you already know what's going on inside. You already know she up to no good. You know you feel it inside. You feel it inside. You know you do. Stop repressing it. Are you get is, are you giving him download spirit? Are you trying to? Is he blocking it out? Yes. Stubborn fucking cuckoo crazy. White witch, be the light, ignite your passion, fire guardian, we have fire out here again. 
White Witch, be the light she's trying to be for all of you and herself and her family and, of course, the, above all, the Most High. She's trying to be the light. She's trying to guide people with important information from the other side. Possibly listening to the Sky Father that we call the Holy Spirit. Yeah, him, God, yep. Trying to be a peacekeeper, trying to be like a healing mother type figure, trying to, you know, help you ignite the passion that's within you, help you track down your fears so you can have your desires, to help you get on the right path so you can get out of those old outdated ways of thinking and break any ancestral curses of staying in loveless relationships for the children and the money. Take some time to be alone. Retreat and recharge. Think about this so that way you can stand your ground to people who are trying to con convict you of doing something you didn't so you can stay rooted and grounded to the situation. Hold your space and see behind beyond the current situation because you have a seer on your hand that's trying to give you important information as if she was an oracle. You need to be more open to having this healing information that could very well save you from a life of misery and depression and possible drinking. Be devoted and committed to who? Spirit. First and foremost, then your family. Spirit. Yourself. Your family. Your loved ones. Holy Spirit first always. Always be obedient. Always be obedient to the Holy Spirit, please. For your own well-being. For your own good. Trust me. It's the, I couldn't live any other way anymore now that I know. Mm -mm. I don't want to be anything but who I am, the earth angel that I am. Grow within your current situation because communication needs to happen. You need to stop hiding shit. You need to stop lying. You need to stop being manipulative and, and, and deceptive and cheating on both sides from both of you. Karmic drama queen and high level soulmate over here. Okay? Don't be two-faced about the situation. Grow within the current situation and grow up. Both of you. If you're holding a freaking grudge because he did something or you think he did something, all the things, grow up already. Grow within your current situation before you push him away. Unless that's what you're trying to do. Air guardian, shift your perception. This is talking to you, karmic soulmate, or excuse me, karmic drama queen. You need to shift your perception. Why? Is it because... You're showing me divine feminine is a female. Your husband is a masculine. You feel uncomfortable in this situation? Yes. Why are you afraid? Because he's cheated before. Is she the kind of person that's going to cheat? No. You need to shift your perception and give her a chance. Because this person is letting, uh, learning from spiritual experiences and wants to teach you the same way. About spiritual experiences. Maybe, let you, you know, maybe help you through one. Unleash the wild within you in a positive way. Don't fucking lose it on this masculine. Because if you do, you're going to freaking throw up red flags and he's going to think something. And every, is he already thinking something? Yeah, a little bit. He's already, he's trust, trying to trust his instincts and trying to listen to what his friend is telling him. If he hasn't, it's destined to happen. He's going to end up listening. Are you going to end up listening? Yeah, eventually. Is it going to be too late for you? Yeah, because Divine Masculine will already have stepped in, but she would have guided him. Summer Bask and Joy and Light saw each other again. Yep. Had a real awakening at that point. Yep. Felt something you haven't felt in a long time. I'm being shown a lot. I'm not saying those numbers. So we're just, I'm being told, Can I? should I just say it? Yep, 15 years. Possibly 16 years. Something happened, got to see each other. They were basking, enjoying light, having a good old time, being silly, being friends, and all the things woke somebody up. Woke somebody up to a spiritual awakening. Possible divine intervention. We start you need to start setting your sights higher for your life and stop staying so stuck and stagnant. You're being repressed by your own stupidity and stubbornness. Because you think you're right in a situation where you're not. Be graceful in movement and action because the thing is, is you're going to find out something. You're going to find out some Oh, shit. You're going to find out something and you're going to have your guard up at that point. You may come unglued. Be graceful. Unlock the magic within you. 
that comes down to patience and understanding and trusting in the higher forces. Put it all on God. Give it all up to God so that way you can unlock your magic and not unlock the fucking jail cell that's going to happen when you find out this information, man. Follow the voice of your soul. Like the, like the sacred creator said, make a mission statement for your soul. Follow the voice of your soul. Your soul is guiding you somewhere. Did I not pull it? Did I pull it? I did. Okay. All right. On the bottom of the deck, shield make, made and make a freaking plan and focus on it. What do you want to do? All of you. All of you. What do you want to do? You want to stay in this loveless relationship? Or do you want to go have all the, all the things with your person? I see all of you wanting the same person. Well, go be, so one of y'all need to make, make a move before she makes the move and, and chooses herself and says to hell with the rest of you. Now she's never going to say that? No, she will always love you because that's the person she is. All right, Big Bertha got something to say. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, guys, I need some water. Last couple of days I've been coming down with a scratchy sore throat. Oh, All right. All right, let's get Big Bertha out here. Let's get some messages so we can close it out. It's very rare Big Bertha comes out anymore. But she holds a lot of uh, special meaning to me. This was my first deck I ever wrote. I would say about 850 cards probably, if not more. In three days I wrote this deck. It's crazy. Good where you're supposed to. Hello. Alright, here we go. Spirit, what is Big Bertha? All of my love to you both. Have a wonderful and blessed life. Is that to you too? Why? If you make a different choice and choose to stay there, that's what she's going to say. Are you going to be okay with that? Are you going to want to keep coming back? Are you going to? Yes. Is she going to let you? You don't know. Are you going to? No, because you don't want to have to deal with the karmic drama queen. Guard your heart, but don't turn cold. Who is that? That's you, Karmic Drama Queen. Guard your heart, but don't turn cold and judge people for things that you have no right to judge them. Because this, your husband misses his person, whether it's just as a friend or a lover, even if he is just karmic to her. Is it a karmic? Yeah, it's karmic. Every He's a soulmate. He's there to teach her lessons in patience and understanding and compassion to love somebody no matter how fucking stubborn they are. My heart is broken by Evanescence. Who is this? Oh, I see Papa Bear. Why are you, why is your heart broken? I miss my girl. Well, why don't you want to talk to her? Embarrassed. You miss her too? Were you guarding your heart and turning cold? Yeah. Are you going to say all my love to you both? Many blessings. Have a wonderful life. If she chooses Divine Masculine or anybody else, no, just Divine Masculine. Why is that? Because you know the Twin Flame, you understand the Twin Flame journey? You're starting to. Yes, yes and yes, all the yeses. You came back just to break my heart, I know it. Just be honest, who is this? Is that you, Papa Bear? Is that how she, is that how you feel about her? Did she? That he said yes to it being her. Did she? No. She made you love her more, didn't she? Yep. You don't want to be saved? No and yes. Yes and no. It takes too much. You don't, you're afraid of the work it's going to 
it's you're afraid of the work yeah he's afraid of the work he's gonna have to put in but he feels with not complete with it they don't none of them feel complete without this person's love that's why they keep coming who's this ah divine masculine go spoil yourself my princess We passed her around the office. It meant nothing, I swear. Karmic Sea Witch warned you about her too, didn't she? Yep. And now you're wishing bad on her and everybody else because you didn't listen? Yep, that's that black magic. Damn it. There's three fucking energies here. Any of them want to be saved? That uh, the high-level soulmate? Who else? Divine Masculine? Yes. But fighting it with everything he's got. Fighting it with... And what about you? You don't want to be saving you. Yes and no. Yes and no. There's three... I'm dealing with three energies. Y'all confusing the shit out of me. That's why this this reading... If this reading is confusing, guys, it's because there's three freaking masculine energies <clears throat> coming through. And one karmic drama queen that's just like sitting there like... Nah, 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 freaking out. Who's using sex workers for therapists? One, two, and you. Okay. All three of them. This one's a sugar daddy. Dealing with prostitutes and all the things. What about you? You like strippers? How many? Just one. Did she leave? Are you still with her? No. Broke your heart too? Yep. And what about you? Just addicted to fucking porn. Because they are miserable in their lives. Because they miss their divine feminine and they're just too much and they're, they're, well, I don't know what to tell you. Get away from me. Get away from the sex workers. Quit being toxic. Why am I so jealous that everyone loves my baby? Who's that? Papa Bear. Divine Masculine. High level soulmate. No, you don't care. You do, but you don't really realize it, do you? Because you're too stuck up in your own head. Well, that's understandable. Well, why are y'all why y'all jealous? If y'all if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. They're using sex to hold you down. Who? This is for divine masculine and his sea witch. What about you? Are you holding him down with sex too? Yeah. Is it any good? You think so? Do you think so? No. Okay. She thinks so. He doesn't. That's why he's using porn. I've warded off the demons you keep sending my way. I see what you're up to. Is that Divine Feminine saying that to all of you? Yeah. Is it touching her? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a cold here or there. Maybe a little stress here and there. But she's handling it well for the most part. Who's a terrible parent? The drama queen? Is Divine Feminine a bad parent? No. Basically raising a child as a single parent for the most part. Who's the terrible parent? Karmic drama queen, why? Are you doing all the things with your kids? Are you homebodies? Yeah. You guys go out and play a lot? Eh. Well, somebody's a terrible parent. What about you, Papa Bear? Are you a ter terrible parent? You're shaking your head no. Your higher self is shaking his head no. But you are saying yes. Why? Are you not with them? No, too far away. Are you going to go be with them? Yes. How? Is Divine Feminine going to help you? Yes. Well, somebody, there's people feeling like they're a bad parent and there are people actually being a bad parent. What else? Holy Spirit. Want to move in with me? Who is that? I'm being so, shown the soulmate. Papa Bear, you want her to move in with you? Why? You just want to be with her, do you, don't you? What about you, Divine Masculine? Do you want her to move in with you? Divine Masculine, do you want your Divine Feminine with you? Yes, is she going to be? You don't know. We have Sagittarius. We got all this the fire. Oh. Y'all, step out of old habits. What are these old habits? 
turning to sex workers, staying in poopy diapers because of depression and anxiety, staying in loveless relationships, those ancestral patterns that need to be broken, all of those bad habits. The bad habit of sleeping around, cheating, using drugs and alcohol and all of that because who has you wrapped around? Oh, this, this karmic drama queen, the sea witch, they all have the, these masculine wrapped around their finger because of the punani. <sighs> anything else from here spirit no shift the decks okay how many from here spirit 13 one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, there's that sugar baby. Let's slow down. Is that you, Divine Masculine? Yes. What about why do you want to slow down with your divine sugar baby? Did you slow down with your sugar baby? Why? Who's your sugar baby? Divine Feminine? Was she? Did she want to be anymore? No, she wanted more, didn't she? And that's why you wanted to slow it down? Yep. If you find yourself dreaming about me, feeling me around you, or thinking of me often, journal to me. I will know it. our souls are connected. I'm pissed, so pissed right now. Why? She's not giving you any energy, is she? No, not even a little. Maybe, maybe like 1%. All the rest of the energy is going to who? Papa Bear. And now this high-level soulmate, yep, they're getting the attention and he's not. So he's really pissed and he's trying to connect with her, but she's not letting him. She, she wants you to leave them young things alone. Is that you, Divine Masculine, again? It's all three of you. I'm coming home to you, my love. Please wait for me. Who is this? Is that you, Papa Bear? Yes. Yes. Divine Masculine, what about you? She doesn't want me. She wants him. Is that going to stop you? Yes, he's shaking his head yes. Just know I'm protected from the black magic you're sending my way. That's to you. You never let me fall. This is from them, these masculine, to this Divine Feminine. And they, who wants to come back to you? I'm being shown Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. No, excuse me. Divine Masculine and Papa Bear. They want, you both want her to come back to you? Yes. And that's her problem. Why? It's not. Y'all need to earn it. Because y'all are fucking around because of the money. And your words, oh, Papa Bear, your words cut like knives, didn't it? Yep. And now she doesn't have the, the emotional bandwidth to deal with it? Nope. So that's why y'all are, that's why one of you is only getting 1%. And the others, what about you, Papa Bear? Is she giving you energy? About 25%. What about you, high-level soulmate? I'm seeing about 35%, maybe 40. And it keeps going up a little bit. Why? Determined to help you, huh? Anything else from here, spirit? This reading. City girl, divine feminine again. That's the fourth time she's feeding into your addictions. It's going to kill you. There's that cowboy. This fall, I like younger girls. Is that all you, Divine Masculine? Did you choose a younger girl than Divine Feminine? Yep. Are you regretting it? Yep. Confirmation. Confirmation. Confirmation.
where was it? Okay. Do you really trust me? Speak your mind seriously. It's time for people to seriously speak their mind and admit if they trust him or not. Because if they don't, well, then this is why you're in the situation you're in. You're regretting choosing a younger girl, sugar baby situation over your divine feminine. And are, what about you? Are you regretting being a cold hearted jerk? Yes. Well, it's time for you to speak your mind. And if you have trust issues, you need to learn how to deal with that. Okay. So with all of that being said, one last shuffle, one last shuffle. Anything else? Look, we need to talk. A family member wants your person because they're two faced. And the thing is, is you must be a witch or all I think about. No, that's not the case. I believe in you, says Divine Feminine. I've given you my energy. I am not a witch. I'm a Divine Feminine High Priestess. That's the situation. Now, look, y'all need to get down and talk. Y'all need to look, y'all need to get down and talk, have conversations, and heal the situations if you truly want to be with this person. And if you don't, well, then there you go. You have to live with what your, your choices are. So if you want to live with regret, that's your choice. Anything else, spirit? What is that? You want love romance? Copy that. Is this divine masculine to divine feminine? Yes. Any of the other soulmates coming through? No, this is strictly divine masculine, divine feminine. here we go you need to give the relationship a chance is that going to divine feminine yes why because it's everything you need what about finances and career it's going to boost your finances and career yep and all the things it's going are you there going to be a lot of uh, joint collaborations yes a lot of them so you need to give your relationship a chance if you want to have the career and the finances and the career you keep asking for spirit for Anything else, Holy Spirit? There's passion between you two? Yes, but not right now. No, not even a little. She's really pissed at you, isn't she? No, she just doesn't want your drama, does she? Nope. Is she, does she believe it's worth waiting for? No, she's still in a belief that you're stuck in your old, outweighed, your old ways, huh? Are you? No, yes and no, you're slowly working out of it, okay, because you realize the passion that's there, right, and you, you're working on releasing that X and letting go of control issues, yes, it's that karmic sea witch that's been lingering forever in a freaking day, all right, well, I'm being shown January 18th, why am I being shown January 18th, that's I think the full moon in Cancer, I believe, Also is right around the time of the switch over from Capricorn to uh, Aquarius. We well, there's that trust again. You guys need to work on the trust, and it's only going to be if you release, if you keep an open mind, release the uh, control issues and your ex and any narcissistic behaviors. Uh, excuse my boogies. You need to love yourself first, which means getting off of the drugs, the alcohol, and get away from the sex worker succubuses and the toxic people. What about children? Pregnancy traps? That and what? Does she have children already? Are you worried about that? No, because there's going to be an engagement because of there's so much playfulness and passion and all of the things. People are starting to realize that they're, it's worth waiting for and they're not trying to live in regret no more. They want the honeymoon, the wedding with their soulmate. They want to get engaged. Have to, they want to get engaged to their soulmate? Have the wedding and go on the honeymoon. Have the children. Anything else, spirit? Thank you. 
What's the red flags? Got to get rid of the red. Any more red flags? No. Has she seen them all? Yep. And that's why she's not there. That's why he's been reported as spam and blocked. Does she need to unblock him, spirit? Does she need to block, unblock him, spirit? Archangel Gabriel, does she need to unblock him? Not yet. Wait. Religious factors? What about him? Still trying to wrap your mind around him, Divine Masculine? Yeah, he's trying to learn. I see him working with the pendulum and crystals. I see him working with the pendulum and crystals, so he might be tapping into his spirituality on top of that black magic that he's been doing. You need to express your love instead of doing black magic on people and using somebody's spirituality against them, possibly. And find, go uh, feel those romantic feelings that you guys have for each other. Because you deserve, deserve love and not to be treated any which way. And if you want to go be with this person, y'all are going to... If you want all of this, if you want to feel those romantic uh, feelings again, you need to express your love. Reconcile with an engagement to your soulmate and have that fucking wedding. Go on that honeymoon and have the damn babies. Not the babies. Yes, go have them babies. Okay? Reconcile first. further spirit you want me to do it from the bottom of the deck okay y'all realize this could be the one there's those codependencies with the sex workers the drugs the alcohol the nonsense you need to go and fucking make an effort what is this retreat it's the retreat where the engagement's going to happen yes that retreat is also going to be where you get to know each other and see that new love and it's going to happen very soon since family issues have been healed yes because you guys are uh this is true love you've been calling in your freaking uh soulmate let your friends help you are you letting your friends help you divine masculine in a sense yes it's all the stalking i guess seeing what she's up to is helping him and i guess he's looking to her as a friend and it's helping him free himself from the deception and making like making him realize the attraction he has with her and making him get to the point where he wants to have that heart to heart conversation and flirt with his twin flame and and have him realize that it's safe for him to love and he doesn't need to show unrequited love to somebody or stay in an unrequited love situation because of external validation he needs to start learning forgiving himself Yes, and learning from these situations so he never repeats them again and causes any issues with separation because there's so much chemistry. He needs to start staying more optimistic about his love life. And the only way that's going to happen is if he goes and has this reconciliation, gets to know this person, and handles business instead of sitting there in an unrequited love situation. That goes for all of these masculine now. Damn. Anything else, Spirit? No. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors and loved ones for coming through. I love and appreciate you all. I close this reading. Man, I feel like death warmed up. I'm going to go lay down now. I love and appreciate you all, guys. That's it for tonight. 1313, when I said that, I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, Gigi loves you. Light, love, and blessings. Bye for now, guys.